was stopping me. That's how we were got to bring her about. He was stopping me. He even locked the door. I, it was with the key. He locked the door. I didn't know where he kept the key. So I, when I get to the door, he draw me back. And that, that was what happened. Okay. Uh, from the police the, 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 the first one was both the first one was twice the instance the first one on on the next side that was the first one and then when when I stabbed him the, the first one twice I threw the knife in the bed then he was going for it while I went for it. So while I laid on the bed, that's when it came on me to to hold the knife and that's when I managed to stab him with the knife and then he, and then when he dragged the knife from me, he managed to slice my hand and then as he was holding it the knife broke. So it slipped up from his hand. I still managed to help help with it. But then it was now weak and then it fell on the floor. Okay, so why why did you like what was it about the first time that you didn't like? What did you do? Or what happened? I was I was I was trying to I was sleep, I was trying to sleep. It was midnight, so we were drunk and we have um, smoked so I was already like Sleepy, and then, Continue. and then I was already sleepy, and then when he came to me, I was that was what happened. He was, he was started about. It was SK loud. How was it? SK and loud. Was there weed in the room? Okay, do you live with your parents? Yeah. Where? Where? No, not with the other. Okay, how long have you known this guy and how did you meet him? Exactly. Uh, I've known him for four months, five months. I met him two friends. I tried to introduce him to you. Yeah. Okay, so how regular do you think this? Not too regular. Not too regular. Um, he was saying he was coming for that's um um time long time yeah. okay so how long how long did you guys stay did you check in on sunday when did you die which day did you die and when did you leave him and how were you able to escape from the room after killing him, or just walking him. Well, while I was lying there, I just I changed and then I left. I looked for the key for where he ate it and I left it there. So when you escaped, who did you reach out to? Where was the first place you went to? I didn't reach out to anybody. So okay, how do you feel yeah. when you know that you have killed somebody and you just sneaked out? How do you feel at 21 committing this, this kind of crime? What did you do with the ATM letter? With this ATM? I will do some money. How much? And um, three eighty. Now five million. On confirmed reports, have you that you, in your original account you have about 10 million naira? How did you get such amount of money? So how was it traced to you?
What did you plan to do with the money? What I plan to do with the money? The money you withdrew from his account. To pay my fees. Okay, now the guy, the guy who brought the drugs, who called the guy, who's customer, is that guy who brought the drugs um, to you guys? He was the one that called the I don't know. He's always having drink, um, um, smoke with him, so I don't know if that was the first time. In four months, you've known him. How many times have you gone out with him? And where do you and go? And what's the difference with this particular one? We haven't, we haven't gone out like out. It's always like we can meet and then we go to the house at the BBC. How did your parents get to know about this whole situation? Did you inform them yourself or how? Can you speak? Was so when you uh, uh, do you live in school or you live with your parents? I stay with my parents. You stay with your parents and you left on a Sunday and this happened when? That's like three days interval or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Where do you tell your parents you were going to school? I, I told him I told him I was going for for what? Pursuing job? Yeah. Have you been doing it before? Yes, I still. Any other questions? You checked in into the shop like, according to reports that you checked in with the foreign number. Did you have any plan to come to Afghanistan? Because, of course, no, it will be difficult to trace you with some foreign numbers. Is that correct? Exactly? It's, it's, it's not difficult to trace me with the number, but I didn't have a um, I that. But is it correct to say you, you checked in with a foreign number? That was the number I used in texting the That was the number you used? So you, you have a foreign number, just is that, is that it? What do you do with that foreign so what? number? Exactly. Mm -hmm. What country? So why should you How even you be keeping it? Mm -hmm. How did you get the foreign number? Eh? It's an app. It's an app. It's an app. Yes. App that generates numbers. How would you do that? Yeah, yeah it's possible. Yeah, 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 it's possible. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, um... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Thank you for being bold, okay? Thank you for speaking up, please. Chidima, please look at Look up, look up. Just, just... Chidima. We are capturing your voice. Let's go. Wait a minute. Chidima, just look here, please. Look here. Please now. Chidima, please look up. Look up now. She's very beautiful. How about the ladies? Who is it take from that? Alright, so if you are just joining us, we are at the Lagos State Police Command uh, where 
the Commissioner of Police has presented the prime suspect uh, who murdered the CEO of Super TV. Uh, she was said to be seeing him, she was said to be his girlfriend. And uh, she just explained everything that happened uh, to us here. She said uh, they were taking drugs, uh, they were, according to her, they were taking loud, uh, they were taking what she called SK and they were also having fun and uh, she didn't want him doing more things with her and they had an argument and she stabbed him twice her, her name is chidima she is a 300 level student of the university of lagos uh, she's studying mass communication uh, in unilag so here she is uh, Chidima is her name and uh, she has confessed to the police of truly killing uh, the CEO of Super TV. She's been taken away now. Yeah, she's about to be taken away now, and um, there she is now on a mask, and um, she explained everything that happened. Uh, and also explain the last minutes of uh, the lady of um, Super TV who, who was murdered by her. So there you have it. Uh, it's, the, it's the one person parade here. Uh, the Commissioner of Police said he called us journalists here to interrogate the lady. And um, it was said to have happened overnight yesterday. It was an overnight mission, but she was picked up uh, in the home of her parents. And uh, from that moment, she was picked up up until late this afternoon. She was being interrogated. Uh, she was being asked questions by the members of the Nigerian police force, especially the top members of the uh, KEDA. And uh, yes, uh, she spoke with us a few minutes ago, confirming that she truly was the one who uh, killed the CEO of Super TV. Uh, she said they were having drugs, uh, they've been hanging out uh, before what happened over the weekend did happen. They, they've known each other for a while. She said um, she was introduced to him by her friends. And when we asked her, what her parents thought or uh, where her parents thought she was as uh, she said that uh, they thought she went for an ushering job and uh, she used to freelance in that particular business uh, but that was not the case as uh, she was away with her sugar daddy having fun and uh, smoking unfortunately it ended in a very controversial way and one of the duo lost their lives. Uh, she said um, he was the late uh, CEO of Super TV, was the one who ordered for the drugs that they were smoking. And uh, we got unconfirmed reports that uh, when the uh, accounts, account numbers were traced, uh, that she indeed had about 10 million naira in her account. But she denied it and said she didn't have that much. Uh, she also denied the news that had been making the rounds that. 5 million naira was not in her account. Uh, she didn't withdraw 5 million naira from his account, but that it was 380,000 naira that she withdrew. Uh, when I asked her what she wanted to do with the money, she said she wanted to pay her school fees with the money. So we are just joining us. Her name is Chidima. Uh, she's a 21 year old. Uh, the police uh, spokesperson said she was born in the year 1999. And she's a 300 level student of the University of Lagos studying mass communication. The drilling is over, the questions are over, the commission of police is done.
and uh, she will soon be taken away from this premises. But at the moment she's still here, she's in this van uh, right in front of me. Uh, reports which me as it that the police officials will be ferrying her away from this location soon. Uh, but there you have it, the 21 year old Chidima, a University of Lagos Mass Communication 300 level undergraduate. Has just been paraded to the press and this is an unusual parade uh, this is a one person parade usually we have uh, people sitting down and being interrogated suspects being interrogated but this is not a usual interrogation uh, because of how urgent uh, this particular case is so Chinema is being ferried away now and, uh, We'll be following this case up, trust points to always give you updates as we always do. And um, we'll be giving you updates as regards this case and of course several other cases as we always do. Uh, there you have it, she's being taken away from this premises. <laughs> Thank you very much for being a part of this. Uh, trust us to to always, uh, always, 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 always give you the latest as regards reports happening around the country, as regards stories eating up our polity, and this. is one of the many things we do. Uh, my name is Shek Godwai, on behalf of the entire team. I'm saying a very big thank you to you, our viewers. Have yourselves a fantastic and lovely afternoon. Bye for now.